Hey everyone, it's Dr. Chuck back with another episode of Refrigerant Checkup. Today we're going to be talking A2L Ready Tools and Trucks. Hopefully this will be a rather short video, which is good news because a lot, a whole lot is changing. But this is another in my mini-series of episodes on A2L readiness. I will refer you back to one where I talked about the A2L refrigerant cylinders. And uh, we'll be doing future episodes around things like install, service, uh, recovery of A2Ls, end of life. Uh, a n number of uh, videos coming up uh, in the future as we get the whole industry ready and get started using A2Ls. So as I mentioned, not a whole lot is changing, uh, particularly when it comes to tools. And it's only those things that really can impact flammability or create something uh, of a risk when using a flammable refrigerant uh, when we're used to non-flammables. But for the most part, your standard hand tools, pliers, wrenches uh, are all going to be just fine. Uh, analog gauges, hoses as well. We do want to see you using A2L rated recovery machines and pumps. And those things are out there. Uh, you can check with your local supply house. There's a number of good vendors out there making A2L rated uh, recovery machines and, and or vacuum pumps. Uh, as far as, uh, you know, digital gauges, you'll want those things to be updated. And most of those will be updated with the new refrigerants that are A2Ls, things like 454B. Uh, in air conditioning, 454A and 454C uh, on the refrigerant side, 1234YF uh, in automotive. Uh, but again, as far as your tools, uh, on the power tool side, the, uh, most of those are not going to be able to be an ignition source. The ignition energy required to light an A2L is significantly high. That things like your you know, cordless drills, uh, screwdrivers, uh, are not going to be an ignition source. They line up uh, very closely with things like, you know, toasters, hair dryers, things around your house. All been pretty well vetted out as not being uh, competent ignition sources for A2L refrigerants. I'll refer you to the Safe Refrigerant Transition Task Force. Done a lot of work in this area through AHRI. We'll put a link down there for more detail there if you're interested in it. For the truck side, or more specifically the service van side, it's pretty much going to be business as usual. You're going to be able to transport up to about 440 pounds of flammable gases, uh, you know, in typical uh, refrigerant cylinders, uh, you know, along with your acetylene and those type of things in your service van without any special placarding or special requirements. Uh, we should always follow best practices, make sure those cylinders are, uh, you know, secure uh, in an upright position so they do it safely. We don't have them banging around in the back of a van. But again, uh, typical service van uh, going to be okay business as usual. If your job requires you to transport larger quantities of flammables, there are going to be some additional requirements through the DOT, uh, placarding, labeling, and some limits. So if you get into the transport side of things, uh, you're going to want to check with your local authorities and make sure you're compliant there. Uh, likewise, if you get into the storage, uh, this is getting a little bit out of the van side of things, but if you get into storing larger quantities of A2Ls, if you're warehousing or have some type of uh, central uh, depository where you're storing a lot of them, there are some regulations and some rules you need to follow. And it depends with you, if you have sprinklers or not, how they're stacked up. Uh, what kind of uh, occupancy and business the, uh, the facility is doing. I did an earlier video on that, but again, there's, uh, there is detailed information available if that gets you into uh, that kind of work. But for the most part, typical service technician going out and servicing, uh, you know, like commercial uh, air conditioning, residential, uh, refrigerant stuff, I think you're going to be just fine going business as usual. And again, you know, up to about 440 pounds of the A2L flammable refrigerants are okay to be on board. So I promised this would be short, so I'll, I'll end here and just say stay tuned. We're gonna have more uh, A2L readiness uh, videos coming out. We do offer all kinds of A2L training. We have a number of great trainers out there doing it all, answering your questions. Uh, so again, thanks for your support of this channel. Thanks for your support of the Option products and Comores. And uh, be safe and uh, again, reach out with any questions and Thanks so much for checking it out. Talk to you later.